Hey, this is John Frenet, the co-host of the Maryland Crabs, and I am here today with a Maryland Crab Cake for your listening pleasure. What's a crab cake? It's not quite a full episode, it's just a little snippet. Stay tuned and check it out. And make sure you check us out on themarylandcrabs.com. You can follow us on Twitter at MD Crabs Podcast or find us on Facebook at the Maryland Crabs Podcast. And don't forget, subscribe, rate us, iTunes, go there now. Hey, we're down here at the Market House on Market Space in Indianapolis on a, not a cold, but a nice February day, but we're getting ready for my favorite week of the year, and that's Restaurant Week. We have Eric Evans, who's the Executive Director of the Downtown Annapolis Partnership, Jody Danik, who is like the, uh, the restaurant guru of Annapolis, I guess, if you will, um, who is a partner in Tsunami Lemongrass Market House, Lemongrass 2, and Metropolitan. So I think the, the restaurant guru will fit him. And we have Michelle Bouchard, uh, who is a partner in the Market House down here, which has uh, been a great addition to the city since it opened up last... When did you open up again? Late July. Late July. So you weren't here for Restaurant Week last year? No. You are under construction? Yes. yes. <laughs> With cameras We were now. here, but not open. <laughs> well, Restaurant Week, Eric, when's Restaurant Week coming in? March 2nd through the 10th. We expanded it this year. We got two extra days, so it's going to be a fun <laughs> So it's fake news to say it's restaurant. I guess so. It's, <laughs> it's restaurant week plus fun. But you get two weekends thrown in on each end, so it's going to be fun. Restaurant week is great. For those that don't know, restaurant week is a time when most of the restaurants in town come together. They put together a... Some will put together a special menu, some will put together special pricing, and it's a great chance to boost the economy in the doldrums of winter. It's a great chance to get your butt off of the couch, out into the town and see what's there and sample some of the great food that we have and, you know, at, at, a, at a bargain. I personally use it to look at restaurants that I haven't been at before or ones that I don't go to. I know before we started recording, we talked about we have our old favorites, and we, old haunts, and we go down there, and it's, uh, but it's, it's a really good time because... It's the time where the chefs, I find, get a little bit creative on the menus in a lot of the places. And um, it's a price fix breakfast for those that serve breakfast, lunch or dinner. And it's, it's a great bargain. What I love about Restaurant Week is, um, you know, you were talking about getting into your ruts and the six restaurants that you go to your whole life. A friend of mine talked about having a restaurant wheel. Every family or every person sort of has their own restaurant wheel. And there's five restaurants in it that they go to. And they're stuck in that rut. And to get a new restaurant to actually be a sliver of that restaurant wheel and part of your life is, is a difficult thing. You know, you have to have 10 of your neighbors tell you, you got to go to this restaurant. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And so Restaurant Week gives everyone an opportunity to go to a place that maybe they haven't gone to. It's a quick fifteen ninety five lunch or uh, thirty three ninety five, thirty four ninety five dinner. And uh, you can try something new that maybe you haven't tried before. And, and that becomes part of your new restaurant wheel. It, re- it really does. I know that uh, I've, I've talked to several restaurateurs who say the same thing. They say this, it brings new people in to give it a try. Or somebody that maybe I, you know, hey, I was at Restaurant B and I haven't been there in 10 years. Right. And, and they come back. I've heard they've got a new chef or something along those lines. And there are a couple of new restaurants that have come on board this year, the Market House being one of them. Uh, you've got Kitchen on West Street, uh, which is at the new Hilton Garden Inn. You've got 49 West, who's been around forever, but they uh, just started to participate. And what else do we have? We are in Latitude down on the city dock. Oh, Latitude 38, which is the former, we'll say Phillips. Uh, it was a yacht club for a little bit period, but that's uh, open now. That was just opened up probably a couple months ago. You've got those restaurants that are there. And Lemongrass 2, which is a, one of your restaurants, which is out by the uh, Best Buy. So this is a perfect example. Um, we have Lemongrass on West Street, which a lot of people know about. We also have Lemongrass 2, which is... Um, <laughs> the uh, Village Shopping Center by Best Buy and uh, um, PetSmart, um, which is a great carry-out place and, and sit-down place. We have an outdoor patio there. And then we also have Lemongrass Arnold, which is off of uh, Ritchie Highway as well, that a lot of people don't know about. But West, Lemongrass 2 has been in existence since 2006. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, it, it was opened uh, about 11 months after uh, Lemongrass 1 was open. So it was a very fast wow. uh, expansion and quick thing. Lemongrass 2 has always been referred to a little bit as the, um, you know, it's not downtown, it's not hip, it's whatever. But it's got great food, and it's uh, got a great interior. And it might be one of those restaurants that you've driven past for 15 years and gone, I should go in there. Maybe I should check it out. And, and, and you know, because it's in an out-of-the-way little place, 
people just don't do it. Um, I do pass yeah. it off, but one of my go-to breakfast places is Excellence. Right, uh, of course, center. yeah, it's, it's a great a place. Couple doors, a couple doors down from you there. Mm -hmm. What is the, I mean, the market house is kind of weird. I want to get into this because, I mean, it's not truly a restaurant. You are a, a gathering place, you are right. a bar, you are a restaurant, you're a fast food joint, you're a market, you're a public restroom. I mean, yes, you know, it's, we're it's, all those. You know, you're, you're all of this restaurant. Urban living room. Yeah. You know, yeah. come here and just sit and hang out and watch people Play go games. By. We've got Play lots games. of games. Um, what What's the market house doing for a restaurant week? We have, a, we have both a lunch and a dinner special yeah. where... Um, We've created a couple new dishes, but some of it's originally on here. But we put a nice price where you pick something from the appetizer, from the main menu, and then um, a drink to go along with it. Or a dessert, at night a dessert, in the afternoon a, a, a non-alcoholic drink. And you know, one thing you know, that I like at the Market House is the expanse of the windows. You've done a great job of opening it up. We're sitting here right now looking down Ego Alley. Not too many boats coming up and turning around and starting their stuff because they don't typically don't do in February, um, but to watch the cars go by, watch the people go by, yes. it's a great people watching place if you haven't got by. And actually, I think all of your restaurants, uh, Jody, are very, with maybe the exception of Lemongrass too, are probably really good people watching spots. Yeah, people love sitting out in uh, Tsunami during first Sundays or um, any of the Dining Under the Stars and just sitting out in the middle of the street and watching people go by. And I think uh, Lemongrass as well as... Um, Metropolitan on the roof have great spots where you can sit and, uh, you know, have a drink and maybe an appetizer and just uh, talk to a good friend and enjoy enjoy your life. So we're super excited about Restaurant Week this uh, this year because this winter, it seems like uh, it's been longer than, than most winters. Even though we haven't had a lot of snow, it just seems that people are, you know, staying inside a little bit more. So we're excited to kind of hopefully we have a great um, weather uh, week. Or 10 days and people come out and walk around the town and see and be seen considering all the wet we had in the summer you would think people would be anxious to get out but it's not uh, not good hey you've got to pick up some milk on your way home Sorry. <laughs> uh, well restaurant is getting off, getting started with a bang this year it's something new and different that eric and the downtown annapolis partnership have come up with is a mardi gras yeah we have a nice mardi gras event uh part of the opening of restaurant week this year on sunday march 3rd right next to the market house. So it's going to be a fun afternoon with a little street party. And what's that going to be, Bob? So we'll have uh, six bars and six cooking stations outside. We'll have Mardi Gras music. We have the Wild Anacostias, and we have the Naptown Brass Band who will be outside. Oh, those guys are a bunch of disruptors, man. They just, like, barge into different places and start playing. And everybody loves it. They're, they're great. They're a lot of fun. But a, a street party right here? Street party right here would be right uh, Federal House, Iron Rooster, McGarvey's, Middleton's, Harvest, and uh, the Market House will all be participating. Will there be beads? There will be beads. There will be gumbo. There will, will there be opportunities to earn beads? It will be a family event. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you had to ask. You know, okay, so we're, we're, we're a Mardi Gras light here. So. <laughs> They just started letting us dance in the city of Annapolis limits like six years ago. So we have to move slowly in Annapolis. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps yeah. The Mardi Gras is super exciting for us because it's a it's a one of the first opportunities that the Market House gets to be involved in a downtown event um, that sort of is collaborative with some of our uh, neighbors. And so one of the great successes of West Street is that we were had great collaborative neighbors. We had a great executive director helping us. Um, put on events, but everybody was sort of all in and committed. And I think if downtown merchants are all into some of these events and the city supports it, then we can we can really do some revitalization and get some people down here too. I recall I was in a meeting one time where they were somewhat lamenting the success of Dinner Under the Stars on West Street down here, and they were like, well, how come the city doesn't do anything for us? And the answer was, well, the city didn't do anything for West Street. They, they supported it, but it was, as, as you said, a group of bars and restaurants that came together. They gathered the money, they gathered the, the labor to do it. They worked right. with BG&E to do the lights and everything else. So uh, and it's good to see the restaurants doing that here. I think Mardi Gras for the Market House is probably going to be just fantastic because the way you're set up, I mean, you are a pass-through type of thing. I can walk in right here on one side, on the Main Street side, and walk out on the Middleton side. So. People can float in to get out of the weather if there's if it's cold just for a minute. Right. Just to come in. And Plenty check of out. room and it's it's so family friendly. You can come in here with your family, with the kids. They're gonna be they're not gonna be sitting in a bar, they're gonna be sitting in at tables right. and 
Yeah. That's what one of the great um, benefits that the Market House, I think, has in, in a way is it's a family friendly place. It really is sort of your, your community center or urban dining room where you can come in, you can get out, out of, in out of the rain or in out of the cold, and you can sit here with your family. And if somebody just wants a hot chocolate, they can sit at a table and just have a hot chocolate. You don't feel compelled to order or, or eat or, or do anything, really. So it's well, a public space. I'll, I'll say a, a, question, a question for you guys, I guess, and uh, maybe you can dispel or confirm this, but I had heard that the mayor is considering a play zone on the roof with a water slide into Eagle Alley. Is that true? There was some talk of play zone with uh, any... He needed to raise the funding for the bridge to get across the Ego Alley, but that's definitely in the works. I think around April, it's like the March 31st, First, April 1st, 1st, somewhere around there, um, okay. is uh, going to be a public meeting, and it's going to be actually at Gavin's house, I heard, <laughs> right on Stewart <laughs> Avenue. So uh, I think he's doing look, a lot party tonight. Is this the big address here? Yeah, look for that at his house on April 1st. <laughs> he's going to love that. Yeah. Restaurant Week, what, is, what does it do for businesses as far as, uh, obviously it's the dead doldrums of weather. I mean, do businesses, Eric, do they find that it's a real boost to them? It is a real boost. Um, actually, a lot of restaurants are starting to see certain time zones already filling up with people doing reservations in advance. Plus the exposure, people are all looking at the menus. I mean, we've had um, almost 30,000 people look at restaurant menus this month so far. So it, people are definitely interested. I think it's going to be a great business uh, booster for people, you know, getting out of the house after government shut down in a cold winter. You know, people are back in business. Well, I know that a lot of um, places get specials in addition to them. I mean, they may have like a two-for-one or a special pricing on uh, Stella Artois, I think, is a sponsor for mm-hmm. Uh, this year as well. So I think you've got a, a lot of different things. The best thing to do is probably to go to the Annapolis Restaurant Week website. Yeah, you can just go to AnnapolisRestaurantWeek.com or to Downtown Annapolis Partnership. Third <laughs> level will let you see menus and what the additional specials and bonus items are. And I do recommend that if you are considering to go there, especially for dinner, uh, if a place does accept reservations, do it. It's uh, It'll be a lot easier because it will be a lot busier than what you would typically think on a February, on a February evening. Uh, parking may be a problem, but it may not be. No, I mean, if you're a city resident, you get free parking in the garages. You just got to get your little blue passes. You get two hours free with each little pass. All right, now, I'm going to interrupt you real quick. The passes are available at 60 West Street, which is the brick building sort of across from uh, Tsunami. Tsunami. And what you can do is you can go into the garage, which is on Calvert Street, and, and there is some spots right there as you go through the gate, which will allow you to park. For 20 minutes, you can walk right in, get your tickets, show your driver's license, and use the ticket to get right out. So it's real convenient to get the tickets if you're a city resident. And that is city residents. It's not people that live in, quote, Annapolis. So if you're in Bay Ridge, you're kind of out of luck. It is within the city charter limits. In several of the restaurants, those who validate, we have a parking shop program that uh, businesses with the downtown partnership can participate in. Um, where they'll be able to validate. So there's, there's several different options. The website has parking information. Uh, to help people out. And the city also has a circulator too. So, I mean, if you wanted to park at some of the outer garages, say a park place or a night in garage, which is behind uh, Lemongrass and uh, Metropolitan, you can park there and take grab a free shuttle, and that can bring you right down here to downtown, the foot of Main Street, wherever you want to go, pretty much across the town. Absolutely. And the state garage is free evenings and weekends, and the shuttle picks up right from there as well. Not just downtown restaurants, though, right? No, it's we got Eastport, we got Forest Drive, we got uh, out in Parole, so West Annapolis. So it's it's a the Annapolis community that's coming together for restaurant week. Okay. What restaurant aside from the Market House are you going to go eat at if you get the time off in the Market House or in Restaurant Week? Where Is would you like Lamont to? in the uh, running? I think I'd like to go there. All right, Jody. Uh, you know. Uh, it's going to seem sort of old and standard, but Cafe Normandy is sort of one of those go-to places during restaurant week for me. Cafe Normandy is um, solid. It's solid. It's, it's always solid. been solid, and it's one of those places that if it's not in your restaurant wheel, it probably should be. Um, uh, it's, it's been there for, I think, maybe 25 years. I like the idea of a restaurant. Where are you going, Eric? You know, I'm probably going to hit up on the steakhouses that typically, you know, on the higher end of the price scale, this is a great week to go hit them out. So I'll probably hit it over at Lunas or at Chart House. Okay. Yeah, that's always good. You know, one of the things I do like about this is that you do have some, and, and I hate to use this term, but a bunch of family restaurants that have been able to create menus and whatnot. You look at 
Caliente, which is one of my favorite uh, Latin restaurants in town. They're, they're in there, and I can get in and out of there for a lot less than normal. But this is now brought, they're bringing in margaritas and bringing in different things there, as well as the high end stuff. As like you said, Lunas, which is typically, you know, that's a, a special event for me when I go out to Lunas. Uh, it's not an every night thing. So I think it's really kind of neat that you can experience a restaurant. So, you know, just come an everyday restaurant to the special events. I agree. I mean, we got restaurants that have been on diners, dives, and drive ins. We got man versus food restaurants, and we got high end restaurants and everything in between. Yeah. My, my brother actually did an episode of, uh, it was called They Swapped Bars. It was two owners swapped bars okay. in Baltimore uh, for a week, and then, then the one owner ran the one bar and tried to develop, uh, turn it around, turn it around, and the other uh, did the other restaurant. It was interesting. It's kind but, of like the but, wife swap show. Yeah, I think you're divorced <laughs> like six months after that. That's it. <laughs> pretty, pretty Not a good I idea. Chicken roast, I think, is probably what's also participating in a restaurant week. It was one of the famous uh, ones on that they're. Challenge, really oh, right. and I don't yeah, know how right. much yeah. you know much action they get out of that. Well, if anybody's listening out there, uh, Michelle is Michelle is quite a baker. Of course, people are listening. Millions of people. <laughs> Michelle is quite a baker. So if, if if the baking challenge, the championship comes through uh, through uh, Annapolis, Michelle would we would we would put Michelle's uh, quiche or pastries up against anybody's. So. Good Thank you, Joe. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, and they're they're available down there at the far they're right, right corner there in of our, the market in our house. Rep. As you look in there. Well, I'll tell you what. I think this is great. I think it's exciting that it's expanded. I think it's exciting that we have uh, new restaurants that are coming in. I think we've got uh, Restaurant Week coming up, and it's March second through the tenth. And we're going to kick it off with uh, Mardi Gras on the third, right here at Market Space. What time does that get underway? Starts at noon to five. Five, so you're sort of taking on that Eastport vibe. We start things at noon here. Yes. That's, uh, that's right. Well, Eric Evans, who is the executive director of the Downtown Annapolis Partnership, Jody Denick, who is the restaurant or guy in Annapolis with uh, Lemongrass, Lemongrass 2, Tsunami, Metropolitan, Sailor, Market House, and I got them all. Lemongrass Arnold. <laughs> Lemongrass Arnold. Uh, Sometimes and, it's and hard Michelle. to remember. <laughs> and, and then finally down there at the end of the bar, we've got Michelle Bouchard, who is the general, one of the general partners here at the Market House. And, uh, you are always here. I am always um, here. You can always find me here. So <laughs> you are you are the face, the friendly, smiley face, and now we have learned the extraordinary baker of the Market House. Thank you very much for talking a little bit about Restaurant Week. And Thank you. We're looking forward to March 2nd, and I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait either. Thanks, John. This has been the Maryland Crabs Podcast with Tim Hamilton and John Fernay. Sure to follow them in all the regular places, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and online at themarylandcrabs.com. Take a moment to rate us on iTunes. Now, get the hell out of my kitchen. Seriously, go! You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.